Ďakujem aj vám, pán Kadia, ako nebo muzička, tá emisia Hard and Heavy, sa naojame na miesto to zlostorstvo, to sa naojame v Slovenia, na Alpite, v Tomin, na Metal Days. I máme noví sogovorníci, to a po zasluga na naši od sponzor Hard Rock Club od od Bito, od Širok Sokak. Stanu vás zbor za naši nový sogovornici, koji ne dajat od Malta i ne guvat do metal. Stanu vás zbor za band od Whipping Silence. First, welcome to the TV show Macedonian Heart and Heavy. Thank you very much for having us. No problem, you welcome, my pleasure. Tell me, How you the started band? Because I think so. The band existed in 1995, yeah. Yes, the band started way back in 1998. It's been going on for about 18 years now. At that time, I wasn't in the band. I was a bit too young. There were a few lineup changes along the way, and there are two original members in the band at the moment. The band released four full-length albums. And the latest album was released last year via Massacre Records, and it also features the new vocal lineup. Uh, we are seven members in the band: two vocalists, a male and a female, two guitars, bass, keyboards, and drums. Um, well, and this is our second time playing at Metal Days Festival. What else can I say? Uh, uh, tell me. Why you take it uh, the name uh, Whipping Silence? Yeah, um, first of all, this band goes back to um, now nearly 17, 18 years, and uh, the um, the name came from Mario, our guitar player, who wanted to find something which uh, gave a atmospheric uh, doom metal feel to it, and Whipping Silence just sounded right. We went with it and it just happened like that. And we've been living under this name for uh, so many years now. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Yeah. You have a uh, four album, but uh, what's the album it's to um, be? It's uh, two years, I think so. Uh, maybe uh, now you work in the new material. Last album was album? yes. Last album was released in uh, November, in November, sep yeah. September. Yeah. What was released in last late last oh, year? Last year, one year. Right? Um, uh, we have actually already started working on new material for the next album, but at the moment we are still promoting our latest album. Yeah. I don't have an album on me to yeah. show it to them. But tell, uh, tell me for the last album we are recording. Uh, who are designing of the art? Uh, yeah, the right. The last album, uh, Opus for Oblivion, was recorded at uh, Spine Splitter Studio in Malta, and then we did the mastering um, in um, in Germany, right, with Andy Horn. Um, uh, the artwork was done by Jan, Jan of Dark Grove Designs. Um, uh, he's from Finland and did uh, the artwork for Man of War and for many other big bands. And uh, we gave him this idea of uh, to use the, um, the art from, from the cathedral in Malta. We have a big cathedral in Malta, which goes back to the times of the knights, because the knights of St. John were in Malta. And all the floor is covered with uh, tombstones, and the tombstones are made of marble and they, uh, they depict um, funerary scenes that go back to the 16th and 17th century in Malta. And, um, uh, and what you see on our artwork is in fact um, one of the tombstone ideas um, with a little bit of um, a, a, an arrangement and a little bit of a focus for the band, uh, for the band lyrics because the lyrics of the band are uh, quite um, Quite insightful and talking about uh, about death, about more more about uh, how people can uh, deal with with death and with uh, understanding what it is about this eternal philosophical question. You know, um, why do I live and why do I die? You know, this is a question which has has been asked by people for many many um, hundreds and thousands of years. Um, The, the idea is that there is a skeleton 
who is alive on the artwork. He is a, he is a, he's a walking dead kind of skeleton and he is breaking the, breaking the clock. So the clock has stopped working and that is when death comes. That is the idea of the artwork. You should check it out. The album was re released on Massacre Records because we changed the um, uh, record company uh, last year. Because um, uh, before we were with Ravenheart Records and before that we were with Sleazy Rider Records in Greece for our, for our first album. <coughs> Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, we still have the cooperation with Massacre is still on, it's still happening. Um, um, the new album is being composed, as Dario said. We have one or two songs already floating around in the, in the rehearsals. Uh, we need many more, of course. The lyrics are writing up as well, coming along nicely. I would think that uh, sometime in early of next year, we will enter the studio and maybe we should have an album um, uh, maybe in about uh, 16 or uh, 18 months time um, this is the idea doom metal takes things slowly even album recordings take slow <laughs> so everybody has to wait a little bit for them yeah. but I hopefully it will be wait the wa um, uh, worth the wait so to speak down not as much wow. Tell me, who the like the lyrics in the band? Uh, most of the lyrics are written by Sean, actually. Yeah, um, the intellectual of them. <laughs> yeah. And when I take the inspiration from the lyrics, from the, because <coughs> I think so the new lyrics, they're very depressive, and uh, you're talking about for the uh, questions of the, why you die and why you yeah. live. Uh. Yeah, l listen, I'm, uh, I like reading um, uh, a lot of um, poems, um, um, poems, dark poems, um, for example, even um, Dante's Divina Commedia and Paradise Lost, and these give many ideas for the imagery. Um, uh, so the imagery is mostly um, uh, a result of my readings from these, from these, um, um, from these writings and writers. But then the idea of, uh, you know, of passage, of death, I don't know, that's something that, that, that I think about. So, so I think about that, I'm mar marrying, marrying that with the literature and then putting the music onto it. I think it has a good effect. Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me, uh, you have do metal uh, stuff. Uh, why Doom Man? Why do you like it, Doom Man? Who are your favorite bands? Our favorite Doom Metal bands, well, um, our style is influenced by most uh, 90s, 90s gothic Doom Metal bands like Theater of Tragedy, The Early Tristania, Paradise Lost, My Dying Bride. Um, apart from being Doom Metal, we also have that symphonic element in our music. You know, we use the male death metal grunts and the female soprano voice, like a yes. It's 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 much more um, mellow than yeah. than than, than mellow. soprano. Actually, don't really like this the soprano idea with us. Yeah. Uh, and nice, and for the end, what would you like to say for uh, Macedonian metal fans? Uh? Macedonian metal fans, you have to check out Weeping Silence, we'll uh, definitely must see you. Um, um, maybe on tour, I would love to come then. Um, uh, thank you also uh, for, for the show and for this interview, and for Metal Days, and for all the f future shows we might have, and, um, and the fans we might meet. Yeah, thank you also very much. Yeah, nice.